Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. You've all seen my videos in the last three days. Yes, I reported about update 2.4 that will be done in at the Volkswagen Partner, then 3.0 that will come via over-the-air update soon, hopefully. And yesterday you've seen the video with Parking Assist Plus in detail where I was testing an ID3 in Wolfsburg. Volkswagen invited me to Wolfsburg for a presentation of 3.0 and it was very cool and I also tested the travel assist, the new features in 3.0. Before we watch the video of me driving the car, what does it do? We have three new things, even, f well yeah, first lane assist is now smoother, which will be in the video, it will not chuck you around. Uh, number two will be auto lane change, so if the side uh, sensors if you have those, my car for example, my ID3 was built so early it doesn't have those side sensors, it will detect if the lane next to you is, and I don't even have travel assist, uh, is free, it will show in the instrument cluster that you can go, you tap the uh, uh, indicator and it will go in the, the left lane or whatever it can be to the right as well. It has to do it within five seconds, that's by law. Um, so we'll see that in, in action soon. And the next thing what it does is then the travel assist with swarm data. It, so uh, MEB platform cars and other cars, eGolf and whatever, GTE, Passat GTE or whatever, will record their surrounding when they drive and the data will be sent to the cloud. And so Volkswagen knows, okay, at this, was, uh, this street, this was happening or okay, this street doesn't have any line in the middle. The people were driving very strongly to the right okay we know that and then a view with your travel assist with swarm data with 3.0 are driving this it will download that data recognize uh-huh I know that the cars have been driven, driving here very much to the right and travel assist will still be activated even though there's no line in the middle. With uh, software version 2.3 right now, travel assist will turn off if it doesn't have two lines where it knows where the middle is. And here it will know that even though there is no middle line because normally it would think, okay, I'm driving in the, in the middle of the left line and the right line. But in this uh, case, it would be wrong because you should drive more to the right because there's just no line in the middle. And it worked really nice. So let's watch this video. So we're in a car with version 3.0 and we're trying out uh, a few things. We're going on a highway to do uh, auto lane change. And then we're going a bit in the city for testing swarm data and see how that is. Yeah, I want to test the, the thing that he just explained, if I drive too much oh, to yeah. the left, mm -hmm. if he stays there. Yep, yeah. it does it. That if you steer too much to the left or to the right, whatever your you mm -hmm. preferred... Uh, I'm talking to... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, so what I was just testing was that in travel assist, if you steer against what travel assist is wanting to do, so too much to the right, to left, if you prefer that, um, it it will remember that and then will keep you a bit more to the left or to the right, whatever your preferred uh, driving position is on the road. <laughs> so that's uh, another thing. And we need uh, a minimum of 90 kilometers per uh -huh. hour. So that's... Uh, so that's no lane change position. in the city. Yeah. So, so is are those two arrows, if this is white, then yeah, it shows yeah. me if I can do it. If the arrow is white, then you're ready no, so to go. That was then, just for a second yeah. there. Okay. And even the, 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 the lane is changing color too. Yeah, it's, it's getting a bit, uh, a bit brighter. Yeah, yeah so, I see yeah. that. Yeah, that's cool. So it's not just a little arrow, it's more than that. You need to change lanes, so that's uh, the most uh, chilling thing for this car. Does it? No. Um, in this traffic, it's... Oh, it's okay. It did it. But it did the yeah. whole way. A distance less. There we go. It does it very abruptly. I would I would go in the lane a bit <laughs> slower, a bit <laughs> lighter. <Okay. laughs> yeah. But it uh, again. Ah, it lost no. it. No. It lost the the, the, the road completely. The now it has it. law to, to 
to have like we we can just start it after one second and we have to be finished after five seconds. So oh my god! So yes, all of it. Oh all my very, god! Very very limited. So. be done in five seconds. <laughs> now there's, yeah, so now there it is. Yeah, the, yeah. The digital lane. Exactly, the imaginary yeah. triangle so this, lane. So this is just possible because of the SRAM data. Uh -huh. If you don't use or don't have the SRAM data here, you uh, can drive with travels. So travels just would turn yeah, off. It yeah. Would, yeah. It's tricky. <laughs> I'll let it go. Let's see what it does. <laughs> yeah, it's driving in a good distance. Yeah. I like that. But yeah. if I have to go more to the right, it would do it. A hundred? No, no. <laughs> if you want to. No, no, no. So explanation to this. So normally travel assist would not work without the, the line in the middle, but because of the swarm data where they know this road already. Um, if I activate it, I get little triangles on the left uh, line that isn't there. It's an imaginary line and it holds me to the right side because how would travel assist know if this is a big highway or a normal country road? It wouldn't know before, but it knows now does it really well. Even good distance to the cars. Um, by the way, it shows it in a head-up display as well that it does a, a lane change. I get an animation with the green arrow, arrow and it does it. Now I'm driving way too slow. <laughs> and important, you have to hold the steering wheel, but that's with with uh, all the lane change changing in every car. It's very interesting that there's a time limit on it by law. What was it, five seconds? The, the, the whole lane change has to be done? Yeah, it has to be done between one and five. So okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. So if you want a very smooth, slow <laughs> lane change, not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. So another thing, uh, with 3.0, you also get an improved lane assist. Uh, as you all know, with lane assist, it holds you in, it's a safety function to keep you, keep you on the track. So if you go too close to, to one line, but now it's, it does it way smoother. It's, it's not <coughs> choking around. If I do it here on the left, it doesn't do it because I'm not going too close yet. <laughs> Yeah, it's way, it's done, it's way smoother. And I, I have it on on the highway, my whole trip here, the 700 kilometers. If I forget to set the, the indicator to, to change lane, it's, it's mad at me for good reason. But it, that's way smoother, it feels very good. As you can see, that was also very cool. It was nice to experience that. Again, like I said, I don't have travel assist and uh, um, I also don't have the sensors on the side, in the rear and in the front, so I couldn't use it anyways. Um, but um, as always, if you want to support the channel, you can do that uh, via Patreon or with channel membership here on YouTube or I have also merch if you want to do that I appreciate it very much people that uh, are patrons and channel members always get stuff in the background What's happening what's coming up and stuff like this. It's very very entertaining. Okay, that's it for me Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye